All right, remember to like and subscribe. Anyway, so today is October 21st, 2020, okay? So for today, remember there's no Zoom discussion. I'm a, I have a doctor's appointment, ha ha. Uh, look at the U2L18 website for a purpose example. Okay, that's this document right down here. You will see that the file name, basic design, buttons, images, etc., are all predefined. You will be creating a basic website that has four pages. Even though code.org says this is a group project, you'll be doing this by yourself. Uh, darn social distancing. Uh, you can still ask others to help you debug. Don't forget you got your debug duck. You know, or, or if you're at home and you don't have your duck yet, you got your trusty debugging pen. Um, or maybe you got your debugging hand sanitizer. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, bloop, 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 bloop. Make sure you make a copy of the website for a purpose Google Doc. That's right. Their website for a purpose. And share it with me. Share it with me. Remember, it's a grade. Uh, when done with the Google Doc, start finding the images for your website and upload them to lesson 18.2. Okay. Uh, so the activity says complete the website for a purpose Google Doc. Share it with me. Begin uploading your images to Lesson 18.2. So let's look at this. So I'm going to open it up. Uh, all right, so I'm looking at it. Don't forget to put your name on it. And, and so I'm looking at over, overview. You've already defined the purpose of your site. Now you'll have a chance to prepare to develop it. The, this project will show that you can work together as a team. Remember how you, you started to make a website? Um, I think a couple of lessons ago. So just use that concept uh, for the for the website that you started. And now what you're doing basically is you're making more web pages for that website. Um, I need you to have four web pages. Go ahead and do like an index. So do an index page. Index page is your start page. It says here main page with a picture of club logo, description of what our club is about, and links to other pages. This is for some sort of club, obviously. Who is in charge? Good news. You're working by yourself. You are in charge, okay? Um, you can have an about.html that kind of just explains who you are, your street cred, whatever, who's in charge. You are in charge, okay? Uh, they got a calendar page. You don't need a calendar page. You can have, you know, some other page related to the website that you created a couple of lessons ago. Um, and then they have a join page, okay? And so... Um, you don't need to worry about that. Just remember who's in charge. You are in charge. Okay. So get your page names down. Remember camel casing, no spaces in names, dot HTML. Scrolling down, describe your tag and class styles. So, you know, body tag, what are you going to color, color the body? Are you going to, for your paragraph tag, are you going to have anything special about your par paragraph tags? Headers, you know, H1, H2, H3, all those things. Are you going to have classes, you know, so are you going to have different colored texts, you know, throughout? Are you going to, uh, when you call your image source, are you going to have your image maybe float left or float right, you know, something like that, okay? So those are the tags that you've been using. Remember, this is in your style.css, okay, style.css. Um, classes, so here's the actual information for a class. Remember, it starts with a period, so we've got .history and .join for their examples, okay? Uh, let's see, make a work plan. How will your team split up the work? You are in charge. Did everyone agree to this plan? No, but yes. Okay, unfortunately, remember you're working by yourself. Next, find your images. When you find your images, write down, you can download them to your computer, write down the name, rename them, make them something simple. Uh, write down the information, type up the information about who the user was who created it. Uh, maybe the title of the picture, uh, where did it come from, the website that it came from, and then is there a license for it? You know, is there like a Creative Commons license for it? Okay, so pay attention to that. Okay, and then that's what's due today. When you're done filling out this document as a Google Doc, because you're going to slowly go back to the class. Oh my gosh. Slow, oh, there it is. All right, when you come back to the class, you're going to do you're going to fill all that stuff in here. You're going to open this up. Okay? You're going to file, make a copy. After you make a copy, you're going to fill it all out. See all right here, it's all blank. Okay? We were looking at the example, so you're going to fill all this information in on the website. Okay? And then 
in the code.org. Okay. What is this? Lesson 18, I believe. So lesson 18. Lesson 18. Okay, so there's lesson 18. So right here is where you're going to upload your images for lesson 18. Okay, so remember you do add image and you upload your images here. Okay, you don't have to start coding today. We're going to start coding on Thursday. That's Thursday. Okay. And remember, your website came from, where was it? Is it lesson eight? Nope, nope. Your web page, okay? Lesson 12, lesson 13, okay? So this is the web page now. Instead of having one page, you're going to have four pages, okay? Uh, that's what I know. Like and subscribe.